What's going on guys? Matt Manduke here. I have for you today and after unboxing as you can see my hood is up and that's because what we're going to do to use review on is actually under the hood. So let me go ahead and switch the camera around and we'll take a look at it. What I am reviewing today is this Optima Red Top. Now as you can see it the, the top terminals aren't connected and that's because it's a Chevy so I use the side terminals because that's what Chevys are designed to use. Side terminals actually make a better connection in many cases and it makes it a lot easier. However, it being a dual terminal makes it very easy for me to connect peripherals. Now I'm not, uh, this actually doesn't go to an amplifier even though it looks like it does. That's where the, the fuse looks like it does. It actually goes to an inverter. I'm not using that currently because I, well, uh, I'm doing other things. Now I don't like that it says made in Mexico right there, but hey, what can you do? Ultimately, most of our auto parts are going to be made in Mexico. And if I flip it over, because of the way it's mounted in the vehicle, we can flip this around. And you can see that it has 800 cold cranking amps and 1,000 cranking amps. 800 cold cranking amps is about 250 over what the vehicle needs. And I want to say that I've had this battery for six years. This is the third vehicle that it's been in. When I originally bought them, I had two of them. One was 800 cold cranking amps. The other one was 1,000 cold cranking amps. 1,000 cold cranking amps got stolen for me but i still had this one i've had it for six years and i have no reason to doubt it now though i should knock on wood because ultimately every time i do an after unboxing uh that's when something fails on me but i can't afford for this to fail on me and like i said it doesn't give me any reason to believe that it's going to fail on me so what you see is what you get it's a car battery but a lot of people don't understand why you would want to spend two hundred dollars for an optima when you can spend 150 dollars and get a regular and for it may, they might be 250 now to be realistic but they are agm which is active gel mat that means is they can be mounted in any way because there's no liquid inside of them they're not going to leak and they're not going to explode and what you also get out of this is it's a red top so it has a high discharge so it's made to start high powered v8s and similar beasts like well the one i have here you can't really see in there but there is a 350 in there but it's a van so you're not going to see too much of that but not only is it a high discharge but it's also it's a deep cycle so you can let this thing run all the way down to 10 volts and it's still going to come back up which is something you're not going to be able to do with a regular starting battery and that's one of the biggest benefits to getting one of these batteries is the fact one like i said i've had it for six years and i don't they're prorated for 10 years i don't see any reason why it won't last me 10 years it might even last me more based on the fact that i maintain my battery fairly well i discharge and charge it as it's supposed to and the 220 amp alternator that's in this thing keeps it as well charged as needed there's a lot of misconceptions with these batteries and when it comes down to it if you're going to have to replace your regular starting battery every three years or you can replace one of these every 10 years spending an extra hundred dollars on this one will save you money in the long run and ultimately it's a much more dependable battery it's also not a bad battery if you're doing a solar setup or if you're going to do any anything that would require a deep cycle but you still want the discharge rate of a starting battery that's what an Optima is going to give for you. So anyway guys, it is bright and sunny out here and it pains me not to be using my sunglasses, but it is what it is. People complain about that and I'm just going to do what I do because one of the biggest YouTubers, uh, Casey Neistat, wears sunglasses all the time, even inside. So you guys are just going to have to deal with that when I need it. But I walked outside without them, so I'm um, without them. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the Optima. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see my other after unboxings, you can go ahead and check out that playlist there. Or if you want to see what else this channel is about, there's a video there. I want you to click that subscribe button and like the video. Clicking the subscribe button will enlighten you to all the world of entertainment that I am offering. Thanks for watching. I'll see you my friends later.